In this Strategies for ICAO Testing Sample lesson, we are going to be talking about improving your photo descriptions. This is a lesson that will appear on the Expedite Our Aviation English uh, private Facebook practice group. Um, it's a free pr practice group to join, um, so feel free if you want to participate there. Or if you're watching this much later after we presented it, then of course feel free to, uh, to ask us questions about this lesson and go to that private Facebook group to see some of the different things that we're working on. In this lesson, I use the tool, of course, that you've heard me teach you all many, many times. Just go to Google Images and, and type some type of non-routine situation in the search and look for what pictures you see, uh, set your, open up your voice recorder, and just start speaking for about 30 seconds. And so I offered in the private Facebook group a simple tip to help you improve the quality of your photo descriptions. As you know very, very well, uh, there is a little bit of element of of strategy to everything that you do in the ICAO test. So as I say, for some reason, people do seem to worry most about describing a photo when they're taking an ICAO test. I don't know why that is. It's really not one of the areas where people make mistakes. However, it, it is a place where students can easily make improvements in how they present themselves. So the tip I offered was try less to give a listing of what's in the photo. Instead, try to pretend that the photo is a video. Then describe what's happening as if you saw a little bit before, like you were rewinding, and you saw a little bit after, like you had pressed play and the photo was continuing, like the photo was a video. So what we're going to do here is we're going to see an example of what listing looks like. Listing is like where you look at a picture and you're, I can see this, I can see this, I can see this, I can see this. And so it's just a listing of the objects that are in the picture, but there's no correlation as to how the different pictures work together or how the different items work together, how the different objects in the photo work together. So let's look at an example of someone who has previously tested at ICAO 5. And we're going to listen to an example of that person that I have asked to do a photo description in which they were listing. And then you will hear a more genuine photo description. OK? In this picture, I can see a helicopter that has fire on top of it, as well as smoke. Uh, I can also see a soccer field, which is uh, full of trees around. I can also see some stadium lights, and I can see sort of a sunset. Now we're going to hear the same person doing the photo description in a better way by talking about the different objects and giving a relationship between what has happened, what is happening currently, and perhaps what is going to happen in the future, only giving the details of what they see in the photo. In this picture, I can see a helicopter that I'm guessing it's in the middle of the soccer field. Uh, which has some fire and smoke on top of it near to the propeller blades. Uh, I would say that it may have had to do an emergency landing there because uh, maybe of an engine failure or a electrical failure. So that's why it's there. Um, of course, they're waiting right now to get some assistance in order to put out the fire and uh, by the look of the sky, uh, I think it's the afternoon, and there may be a sunset right there.
Okay, so that's our tip very simply. If you want to participate, you can send us a message through the Expedite Aviation English um, page or, or put something in the comments here and we'll contact you. And we will send you a photo to practice with. Um, then when you send us a message back with the, the photo description, we will give you some brief feedback. Okay? Now for a comparison of the, the two photo descriptions, which I'm sure you noted for yourself, in the listing there's good English, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the, the English in the first description. The difference is it's, it's just a simple list of the items and the objects that are contained within the photo. It's not really a lot of activity that is spoken about, but when he uses the tip, you can then see a relationship between the objects and there is stronger structure, better vocabulary, and you can even hear he sounds a little bit more comfortable when he speaks. He's more fluent. There's more of a rise and fall to his speech where in the listing it's just item, 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 item and, and not a lot of room for growth. So hope that helps you understand the difference between the two. And if you are already a member of the Strategies for IKO Testing membership, you know this information already, but this membership is on sale right now for $49. And within that membership, you get access to all of these different sections that, that appear within the, the membership. Uh, how to use it to, to maximize your time and, and your self-study sessions. Of course, you learn IKO testing strategies. There are resources that are available to you, content lessons on different non-routine situations in aviation, different strategies to help you improve in every language descriptor that appears on the test. You have eight practice tests that are based in the membership, and we add a new one every month. And there are 30 minute live lessons that you can participate in. So if you were to buy a, a class, it would cost you much more than the $49 uh, that it costs for you to participate in this. And that's why in December, this price will be going up. So you want to take advantage of that low price while you can and get locked into that price. So that means that the price will not go up as long as you continually remain a, a member. So if you have any questions about that, please let us know. Uh, one of our staff members will be happy to get in touch with you. Have a great day.